What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Vikings and here we are at the free agency and uh, <laughs> a lot to kind of consider here. When we're looking at our goaltenders, we got Lynch back for, uh, for a year and we got Ward tendered right now, but we obviously are going to try to get him back. We kind of have to. And the big question is, who do we get for our center position? It was pretty torn, but it looked like the majority of people, judging by the comments and the likes, said to get Heesher back. There was another uh, comment up there that is said to just let Heesher go and hand things over to everyone else. Like put Henrik in the middle and uh, put Bermanis on the first line. Now, the only issue I have with that is that he sure brings so much to the table. Like, the face-off rating. I mean, Henrik's is only 80. He sure has got 93 face-offs. Incredible defensive stats. He can play the penalty kill. He's just such a good all-around player. And he's produced so well for us. Ridiculously well for us over all these years. So, obviously, I think I want to try to get him back. We'll try to do the one-year uh, thing at, like, 17 mil again. Just, like, probably the exact same contract we gave him last year. Might have to be a bit higher, like 17.5 this this time, but we should be able to uh, make that work. So we'll try to do that. 17.5. I just want to make sure I can get him back here. VGK is not allowed to steal him from us. So we'll try to get Nico Heischer for one year. It's just, it makes a bit more sense. Now, Hagelin's great. Don't get me wrong. This guy's great. He could play middle. Maybe you could even argue that he could, pl he could play on the penalty kit with his defensive stats, but being, you know, not the two-way forward and all, I'm a little worried about that, and... He has a great shot, but we don't need a goal scorer on that first line. You know, we have Boyle and Henrik. Boyle's more of the hybrid. Henrik is more of the goal scorer. He sure was always kind of, you know, more playmaker than than all of them. Like, you know, Boyle would put up a little bit more goals with a little less assists. He sure, a little bit less goals, more assists. And, I mean, these results don't lie. Like I said, the last five years, he's been... <laughs> I mean, look at that. The last five years, he's he's point a game or better. It's it's ridiculous. Like he's he's amazing for us, and I I just don't think we can give up on on that. And I think he should be getting into that time. Like getting on, he'll be like 29 next year. I'm hoping that he'll actually want an extension now, and we can give him to you know a more affordable deal for our team to be able to keep everyone else. If we run into the same issue again, you know eventually how how many times could we give this guy one-year contracts we're gonna have a lot more you know larger contracts so we really kind of need this guy to start playing ball and want an extension that's kind of where we're at right now we really need this guy to want an extension pretty quickly um two teams are already going after Hagelin. we'd have to spend a lot on that guy now don't get me wrong he, he might be worth it but almost 20 mil for one player like if we wanted to win that we'd have to offer him at least seven five and we'd have to give him those seven years and you know i i just don't see it I don't see that I we could have I mean if we are able to sign Heesher, we could have we could be saving probably around I'd say about four or five million and that's enough for a solid role player or two you know fourth line or depth guy you know or a couple top sixes you know there's so much there's so many good options we could do with that and now another thing to do is um, offer Ward the contract that he wants and I think I was uh, kind of. Um, over or underestimating what he should uh deserve here he's not asking for that much no it's not saying anything about wanting an extension here so sh can i be able to let's see what it says to this now i might be able to sign him for under now that we're not in rfa anymore i might not but we have time to do it and we can always match an offer that comes comes to him so let's see here i'm gonna do the math on this one and see if we can get him for as low as possible like eight eight four is what we're saying i'll, I'll do eight five for five years if we could get him for that, that's pretty good. Now, uh, Paul and Yemi was saying that 9.5 this this point for a goaltender of this caliber is pretty damn good. Because most of them are wanting like 11 mil at that point. So, you know what? All right, we'll, we'll try to take that. It's going up. Yeah, five years will be good, though. Eight, if we can get him for that price. 8.5 for five years. I don't know if we will, but we'll try. We'll try to get him for that price. And we already have uh, Lynch extended for one more year. At a, uh, not really a backup contract, but we do have a tiny bit of spare money right now. Um, anyone else? Who, all, who else was it? I think everyone else is just tendered, and I think we were, uh, inclined to leave him tendered, if, if, if I can recall. 
let's see here. Uh, Varlamov, Colborn, LeBlanc. Yeah, those those guys tendered. LeBlanc, he's more of the... Yeah, he's okay defensively. We'll see what happens. I mean, if we're considering what our skaters are going to look like. Varlamov, same kind of deal. I'm not too sure. I have him tendered just because I don't know what our forward situation is kind of going to be like. If we're going to take a look at it. We got, you know, Henrik Boyle. Hopefully he's your back. Then Bermanis, uh, Manning. Karpovsev, that's our second line. Third line of Hamus, uh, Sim, or maybe not Sim anymore. Maybe he can go to fourth line. But Adams might also be ready for, yeah, Adams is ready for fourth line. Unfortunately, oh, wait, that's not the guy I was thinking of. Who's the, I have a, I have a center grinder who I'm thinking of, and I don't remember his name. Where is he at, though? Um, Carpenter? I think it's Carpenter. Yeah, yeah, Cade Carpenter. Unfortunately, his, again, his awareness is kind of low, but he's decent on face-offs at least. Damn it. I wish his awareness wasn't that low. So I might actually want to look for... We also got this Wilcox guy who could play third line. Unfortunately, he's not a center. He is, but he's not. I mean, he's got great defensive stats. Incredible defensive stats. Good offense, too. I'll probably want to try him out. But then the question is kind of where? Right wing side, but then we have Sophilus. He can play, I guess, fourth line. Yeah, Sophilus can do fourth line there. Especially if we're going to give that guy we just signed. We have to start abusing those entry levels then. Leach can also be on the fourth line. I'm going to try Adams. He's a playmaker. Not the greatest defensive stats, but they're decent. He doesn't have good offensive stats either. He's not really that good of a player, honestly. I might just have him down in the AHL still, which... Leads me to wonder who's going to be our fourth line center. I think we can wait and see if one of these guys will be ready. Duchesne's not that good. I think Maloney's also a playmaker. Really not good defensively. It would have to be Carpenter. I think we could maybe try him out if he if he jumps. If he doesn't jump, then we'll have to we'll have to look for something else here. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Yeah, we're. St I think that we can go for that. Or we can get a third line center. We can pick up a third line center here. If we're, I don't think this guy will be ready. He might need another year of development before he's ready for that like third or fourth line role. So maybe it's it would be uh, probably try to pick up a third line center. But I am worried about money a little bit. Because we're spending, what, 17 on that? Yeah, actually, we don't really have the money right now. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and see how much how much uh, cap we have. So let's advance a couple days here. See if we can get Ward back. See if we can uh, get Heesher back for that year thing. Because that's really what we're waiting on right here before we can really make a move for that uh, for a third-line center. So we got Heesher. Uh, Ward rejected. Okay. So... What is this? Dougie Hamilton. You want two first? No. No. Not really needing that. Dougie Fresh is good and all, but... We're, ho we're looking and hoping for jumps here. Alright, let's 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 get back our goaltender. I think it's in, yeah, in the system. Okay, so we didn't want 8-5. We'll try, like... I'm not going to go as slow because I want to get this. We'll try 9. 9 by 5. That's a pretty... Still a pretty good deal. Let's see what he says to that. Again, I kind of need to still wait to offer another contract. I don't want to miss out on signing Ward, obviously. It's not exactly a good thing. Come on. Ward's still rejected. Wow, okay. So, it might just take the 9 by 9.5. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'll pay it. He's a good goaltender. And it'll still be a movable contract, especially in a few years if it doesn't work out. Let's try it, though. Hopefully he's not getting any other offers. If he does, we'll just match it. Hopefully it's not a huge offer. I would like to get him to an offer that I have dictated here. But sometimes that's just not in the cards here. Come on now. Come on now, Ward. There we go. Okay, we got him back. So, 9.5 for 5 years for uh, Tyler Ward there. And now we can check out what our cap situation is looking like. Uh, 3.35. I don't think that's enough to get a third line center. We can get a fourth line center maybe. Uh, well, there's Tomas Hurdle, but Hurdle, I don't think that's exactly what, no, nah, not really what we're looking for. More offensive driven than anything. Shen is, uh, very much declining. 
Might be good, but I don't have him too scouted. And it looks like he's declining. I can't tell. He might be up a bit, but the price he's asking for. He could play fourth line for us. That is another thing. We could keep Sim up there. And he could play uh, fourth line for us. Don't know too much about Kerfoot. Duchesne is declining. Probably maybe a bit too heavily. These two guys would be kind of good. Appleton, what do you like? He might... Ooh, those are looking good. Actually has a bit of offense to him too. It could all also go way down. Ooh, really good face-offs from Christian Dvorak. He's asking for a bit more though. We actually can't afford him. We can afford Appleton, but not... We can't afford uh, Dvorak. Might be safer to go for Shen. Even <laughs> I say that. He also could be declining here. But for fourth line, I think it could work out. Faceoffs aren't as strong, but I don't need him that strong if he's playing fourth line. Appleton could also go down by a couple. Shen could also, his faceoffs could also go down by a couple too, but it all, they also could go up. Yeah, it's looking, I don't think this guy will be listed as a third or a second line. I mean, he could be. I have to get him short term. Does it go up? It goes up if I offer less years. Okay, so Shen is looking like the best option in that regard. I think we should go for him. Like one year. I don't want to bump it up too much. I kind of have to, though. Three three, three years, one in the middle. Oh, it puts us really close to the edge here. Really close, but we can afford it. That's the thing. So, all right, let's do it. I think we should grab Shen. I don't think our other... I don't think that grinder would be ready. The other guys weren't as enticing defensively for me. So we'll try to get Braden Shen here for a one-year deal. Again, he's probably going to be declining throughout the year. But maybe as he declines, we got guys coming up. We need someone for that third or fourth line right now. So we're going to grab him. And I think that'll be it. I mean, it has to be it because we're <laughs> kind of out of money here at this point. So let's make sure that we get Braden Shen signed and locked up. And then we have some guys. Oh, he did actually... Uh, Simply have not offered the dollars. I offer you three mil for a year, man. So Brayden Shen actually declined. Let's look back again because I still feel like that's an emptiness that we should try to fill here. Oh, man. Okay, I can try for... De no, his price... No, Appleton. That's who it was. Apple. I can't really because... You know, no, no teams are uh, interested in him. So... Oh, that's... Oh, well, we can only offer him... Oh, no, no. That's his price because we have three, three, two, five. And that was three, three, five. So... I can, I can try just like three flat and hope he accepts that because no other teams are interested in him. We may get that. If not, we're still there's still some other options down here. They're not great options, but there are some other options here. Like God debt, like he could be a fourth liner. I don't know much about him. It's, it's a risk to take, but hell, it's not a very a high price risk. So let's see if this guy accepts. He might not. Sometimes they do if you undercut him. Sometimes they don't. He actually did, so... I like that. He's listed as a second liner. I don't think that'll stick. I think he should be a third liner, but we'll see. And then Sim can play fourth line. We should look a lot better because of that. So, okay, that'll be our free agency here. And uh, we do still have a couple guys tendered. I do, I, I can trade them. And if they don't, like, get offer sheeted or anything like that, I probably will trade them. So we have that in our back pocket as well. But right now we're going to Sim up and uh, start getting the lines taken care of and all that. All right, so the first guy that we have tendered, that's Varlamov. That's the sniper guy. Um, we get a second for him. I think I'm going to do that because I don't know if we can get much else for him. He was, what, like 23 or 24, still only 82-ish overall. And we have better offensive options. So I think I'm going to take this compensation here and not try to uh, get him back. So we'll let Varlamov go off to the Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, so these are the lines that we're going to be going with. The Dream Team's back. Henrik, Heischer, and Boyle. Second line, though, Karpovsev, Manning, and Bramanis now. Now, I'm looking at these three, and Manning might be able to do well with these with um, a sniper and a two-way forward. That seems to be a good combination. Right here, you know, we, well, in here we got two snipers and a two-way forward, but... I don't know. If Manning is ever going to have himself a good year, this has got to be it. If not, then we really need to... Then we honestly do need to think about moving him. I've been trying to uh, trying to work with Manning here because he he's capping out at such a perfect overall to play that second line. He's got great stats, but his production has been down. So we've got to try to get this guy to have some good years, get some good line mates with him. Hopefully with Bermanis and Karpovsev, that line will be able to find some success. Now, third line is uh, very new. Wilcox, uh, Appleton, and Hamus. Now, Ham now, Appleton may still be a second line uh Second line guy, but I think he's got to have a little bit of a 
stat growth or something to him because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense with that top nine potential that he is a he's a second liner there so maybe some stat growth we can check that in uh, progress reports before we get started if we want to but that's gonna be our third line wilcox appleton and hamus this guy's also gonna be a solid penalty killer for us fourth line of leech sim and uh Sophilus. and i think sim might be better suited for that fourth line but we'll we'll see We'll see how he does. He's also going to get some penalty kill time. Defensively, Pinot, Malmstrom, Kubis, and Stoll, uh, Paris, and Honka. Now, obviously, this is all, these are all subject to change. We could have a lot of different jumps happening here. And we can mix and match as needed. Pinot, unless unless we see a jump happen out of him, he might be capped at around 84. Which may mean that he doesn't have a long-term home here just because of... What, what else is happening? We'll have to see who plays the best, what what we can get matched up and things like that. Uh, scratches, we got Spezza and uh, Barodziak. Spezza for forward depth, Barodziak for defensive depth again. Of course, goaltender-wise, Ward and Lynch. And let me show you guys special teams. Boyle, Heischer, Henrik with Bermanis and Stoll on the point. Second unit card, Popsev, Manning, and Wilcox because of that crazy offensive stats that he has. Not the greatest of shots, but he has great offensive stats. And then Hamus and Pino on the point because we got Bermanis up here. I think this could work out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how our power play does. Four-man power play, pretty standard. Uh, penalty kill, Appleton, Sofalus, Malmstrom, Kubis, uh, Heischer, Wilcox, Paris, and Pino. Now that, this should be a good penalty kill. If it isn't a good penalty kill, then something's weird, but it looks like it should be a good penalty kill. Sure, some young defensemen, but I think we can make do. Four and four, pretty standard how you expect it to be. Boyle card pops have continued to be matched up like that. Manning and Bermanis get some chemistry going between those two. Same kind of deal with that. And the three on three, then we're going Pino, Stoll, and Malmstrom. All these subject to change depending on jumps, depending. I think if Stoll gets a pretty fat jump, he could take over that spot. He'll get a lot more ice time. Extra attacker is Heischer and Bermanis. And the shootout lineup I actually didn't touch yet, so let me look at that. I think Heischer should be in there. Henrik, yeah, I think he should be in there. Pino, no. I know he's got the deking and stuff, but no. Boyle's got to be in there. Uh, Bermanis, I think he's pretty good. Now, we need a guy with a good shot. As well as deking here for this last shot. Uh, yeah, Pino doesn't have the shot at all. So I, I'm going to take him off there. Karpovsev, I think, yeah, he has not good deking. I remember that. All right, let's see who else. We got some guys. Appleton, he's got... Eh, he's so-so. Not the greatest of shots either. Manning, not a great shot. How about this Wilcock guy? Good deking. Not, yeah, not the strongest of shots, though. Okay. Might have to go with a defenseman here. So I might put Stoll in there because I think he'd be... Well, his deking's not as good. His shot's not even that great either. So I'm actually kind of struggling who should go in this last spot here. Maybe it is Karpovsev. Good deking, not the strongest shots. I'm just trying to find the right guy here. Damn. Honestly, I might go with Wilcox. You know, he doesn't have the strongest of shots. It's decent. And he's got really good deking by the looks of it. Appleton's got a better shot. And I don't know about his deking. You know what? We'll put in Appleton for now. Let's use that guy. All right. So there we go. That's our team right now. Still same captains. Uh, Boyle captain. Heischer and Ham use alternates. But I really like the way our offense, of course, is looking. We'll have to see what happens with some jumps. I'm expecting a lot of jumps. I'm expecting Kubis to jump, Stoll to jump, probably this Paris guy. I'm hoping Pino to jump, but I'm not I'm not going to hold my breath. I don't know that he will. But everything else is good, and goalies also, also will be very interesting to see. I don't think I turned off rotations at any point last year, so I don't have to worry about that. But something's telling me to check anyway. So I'm going to check anyway, just to make sure. I don't want to run into the problem where we can't actually... See what uh, Lynch turns out to be because we got Ward starting every single game. So I'm pretty sure I didn't have it on at any point, but I'm just going to check here. Yeah, it's on. Still good. All right. So we got that. Everything else is pretty much set here. Okay. Now we can get ready and start simming. But first things first, I said I wanted to check this. I remembered. I got to check on that Applebee guy. Because, ooh, geez. Thanks. Appleton, Appleby, whatever. Uh, he doesn't have any statistical growth by the looks of it. Very interesting. I think he could still drop down. I think he might be an 84 overall. And he might be a third liner. But we'll see. I'm not too sure. It was a really good contract we got him on. So, I ain't even mad. Alright, so here we go. Preseason now. 
I'm going to do the same thing we usually do. And I might actually check our stats after preseason. We have a lot of new guys here. So let's sum up to right there and check all of our stats after preseason. Maybe we can even see if we got any guys fully scouted. We might be able to see jumps. I don't know. I'm hoping we do. Uh, Earl Leach was injured, but he's right back. <laughs> Big old 6 nothing shutout against uh, Anaheim there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Thanks. All right. So we're starting off preseason very good. Scoring a lot, keeping the puck out of the net. So that could be a great sign for us. Again, it is only preseason, but I do like what, we've, what we're seeing so far. Vegas gets revenge over us for uh, us taking back uh, Heischer. They wanted him. Too bad he's ours. Can't have him. Yeah, we're doing really good in preseason. Well, we haven't scored less than three goals in any games we've won. Oh, so we actually did get offer sheeted. Ooh, it's only one year. Damn it. I could I could get more than that. Shit. I was hoping to wait and... Mm, I could have probably traded for more than that. But I might just have to settle for that because... I, don't I can't trade him when he's got a pending offer sheet now. Damn it, I was hoping to hold off on that. I was hoping to wait before the regular season and maybe even longer. Because usually they don't get offered pretty quick. But yeah, the price does go down. Yeah, we're only going to get a second. But you know what? We don't need that much. You know what? I might just take... I'm probably just going to take the compensation. But let me, let me say, remind me in six days here. Because I'm pretty sure you can't uh, trade anyone who's got a pending offer sheet. Anyway, 6-1 and one in the preseason... Yeah, I was hoping to hold off until at least before regular season to start considering that. But I guess I played the waiting game a bit too much. It's all good, though. Alrighty, so... Looks like first line's doing tremendous. Let's see how everyone did here in preseason. Yep, he showed nine points. Wilcox had eight assists back there. Nothing on the power play, just eight assists. Boyle had seven points, point a game. So first line did good. Second line seemed to kind of struggle a lot because, yeah, there's Karpovsa with only four. Bermanis with only three, three goals, though, and Manning with three assists. Hopefully they can work out the kinks. We do have a lot of other offense in other places, but it's we got to, at some point, we're going to stop and making excuses for the second line. They've got to find ways to produce. And just something's weird with Manning. He looks like he's built great, but then some reason he doesn't seem to produce that well and we had that happen before last year in vegas we had that franchise center pagadua never really had more than like a 60 point season as a franchise like with his crazy like 95 awareness and passing like it just happens sometimes so if it's like that then i can't keep trying to force it but stole there we go it looks like stole okay don't have him scouted quite yet so we're not going to see his jump but he looked like he produced so that's good we need production out of him he produced pretty well and, uh, yeah, everything looked good. How'd our goalies do? Ward did fantastic. Lynch, not so much. He was in that game that we lost. Looked like he got yanked at some point. Maybe his goalie pulled. But uh, that's a lot of uh, extra percentage there. Interesting. Anyway, Ward looking great. New contract. Every single game he won, two shutouts. I know, I know, it's only preseason, but still. It's got to give you a little bit of hope. All right, so I, I'm pretty sure I can't trade a guy with a pending offer sheet. I'm, I don't know why I'm going to look anyway. But I'm going to try anyway, just because. I actually can. I can trade him to Boston. Like, let's see if we can get more than that second. Just want to see. They'd have to sacrifice that second, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, what the hell? Why is he, why is his value all the way that high? It's a medium now. He wasn't always a medium. Why is his value that high at 20? Yeah. It's a bit interesting. We'd have to clear up space to grab that guy, obviously. We just didn't really have it. I could match that offer. If I had the space. I'm honestly considering getting rid of Hamus. But, you know, we have so many of those other guys coming up. Yeah. It's off call. I, a part of me is like, Maybe I should try that guy out on, like, the third line for a year and see how he does. Because he was, like, an 86. And that contract that they're offering him, we could match that if we just freed up a tiny bit of cap space. But we have to find that tiny bit of cap space to free up. So, you know what? We're actually going to try to do that right now. Sophilus could be that. Yeah. Yeah. If I was going to do anything, it'd probably be so... Well, it wouldn't be enough to free up. No, we'd, we have to free up, like, about four. I'm not willing to give up Pino. 
Hamus would be the only guy I would trade. And I know a lot of people are, he's a bit of a fan favorite here, but I wasn't happy with his last year's production at all. Yeah. Hmm. And Colborn brings a lot to the table. <laughs> yeah, he brings a crap ton to the table. I don't think I could trade him. I mean, I could try to trade him, just get a bunch of assets, but he's kind of a nifty little player there. So I'm actually really strongly considering trying to hold on to him. And now I can't find him. Where's he at? What the hell? There he is. Yeah, he's got ridiculous value. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I gotta think about this, guys, because this guy, I wish I, this is why part of the reason I wanted more time, I was gonna see how Hamius was doing, but now we've got this on the table, great defensively, great offensively, he's got a shot, he's not a strong skater, sure, 80, 83 fighting skill, he might actually fight, I mean, if he does all the things that Hamius does, plus more, then I might honestly just make this move right here, I know some people might not like it, I can't check his fights from here, we don't really need, oh man, I'm actually strongly considering it, guys. I really am. The flip side is... is Colborn's going to outgrow that role. Uh, yeah, you know what? I Damn it! <laughs> I got to just try to trade him then. I, I think I, I can't do it with an offer sheet, but I'm going to try anyway. See if I can get there like, first and second or something like that. Like Nothing much, but it's a lot. I don't think I could trade him with a pending offer sheet. Maybe I can. Yeah, he has an, I, I can't trade him. So I'd either have to just accept the second, which is not enough compensation for this guy. But I was just hoping to play the waiting game with him a bit. And that's that sucks because I wanted to see. Well, I might just have to accept the compensation here. I really can't free up the space unless it's it's somewhere that I haven't like thought about, but I don't have any like of those weird contracts. To, to free up. And this guy is just going to get probably too good for everything. I kind of like the way our team's set up. Hamus can at least play third line. We'll have to get rid of him eventually because he's going to want more money. Now would be the time to do that. But at the same time, even if we got... What's his name for a decent contract? Okay. You know what? I'm taking a moment here. This is actually kind of important, guys. That's why I'm taking so long. I am really considering trading Ham. You see, he had a very lackluster year last year. Got some statistical minuses. We're thinking about playing him. He didn't do much in the playoffs. Colborn stepped up for us in a really, really interesting way. It's going to be in the system. So let's see. If I could offer him... I can't offer him anything now, but if I went up and I'm looking at his, uh, if how far I can go up in price, but yeah, I was hoping if I can get him for a couple years, it's sort of a third line price. But if I got two years out of him, that's the same amount as what Hamus would have. He brings kind of the same skill set to the table and we'll be spending less money on him. People might severely disagree with this, but I got to think of it from less of a meme standpoint and a standpoint. Oh yeah, I can't offer it to him, but we can get him for about 4.625 for two years. If we did three years, we can get him for 5.32, which is still a better contract than Hamus. This guy could play power play to get extra time. He can maybe even play penalty kill. And we could have him for a ridiculously good contract for maybe even one more year. And he could be third line for us. I don't know if I can pass that up. And he might even turn into something more. Yeah, you know what? I, I gotta make this go. I gotta make this trade. I'll give I'll give ham I'll give uh ham use to Boston though at least. So they can get one of my players since they did. But I think I gotta make this go, guys. It's it's way too good to pass up on. Way, way, way too good to pass up on. Alright, so we'll take their second back. I was thinking about just taking that and giving him a good player for that kind of compensation, but that would be a bit silly here. What do we got? 
We have two firsts already this year, a bunch of seconds already. We're kind of stacked. Next year, I can grab a first from next year or something like that. Keep putting stuff in the bank and keep being a uh, perfectly old machine that just keeps... You know, I might even be able to get the second from this year too. I don't, I doubt it, but I can try to get something. No, okay, maybe just for the first? No, not even just for the first, interesting. So I don't value him quite enough. All right, well, a first may be off the table. Don't necessarily need one, but I would like to get one. We have a bunch of seconds this year. Let's throw in our own to get this to go through. Actually, hold on to the seconds. Try our third. Still not, okay. I think this will be worth it, though, guys, if we could secure Colborn, because the price that he's asked for is actually really good. There we go. All right, so we get a first from a, a year after this. We have to sacrifice the second for this year. And, of course, ham use. But here's the thing. We're about to sign someone who's very good and who could play the same role, will cost less money, and brings more skill set. I don't think there's any downsides besides Hamus is a fan favorite. Yes. But he got that contract, underperformed. He, you know, it, it's hard It's hard to say. But from a business standpoint, this, this move makes a bit more sense. But hold on one sec. I'm just going to stuff in Spezza everywhere that he is for a minute so that we can... Oh, come on. Oh, it's because of the freaking point guy in the power play, yeah. So, same thing. Just put Spezza in there. We're going to get Brizgalov here. He's going to play everywhere that he was, basically. And maybe even uh, some penalty kill. So, all right. That's a big move made right now. Maybe a bit of a controversial one. But I have to think of what is the best for the team. And I think this, is, this move is best for the team. We get an extra year for this, a little bit less money for the same role. And more skill set. I, I don't think there's a downside to that, guys. And I think Colborn will fight a bit. And if anything, I'll crank up his fighting to sometimes. Same that uh, we had Ham uses at. He's got 83 fighting skill. It's very good. Looks like he hits a lot. I like it. So let's offer this guy that three-year contract. Okay. So let me just do that math again. I lost it for some reason on my phone. Yeah, so it's 5.325 about. And that's a better contract than he was being offered, so... Yeah, there it is. Three years, and that's an extra year or two. That's a ridiculously good contract for a player like this. If he stays, even if he stays at 86, it's still a really good contract. So let's grab that. Now I don't know if it'll. Uh... Let's see. I'll, I'll advance day slowly. It said I said remind me in six days. He might uh, accept before that, so that could be good. And then Boston won't have their offer sheet, right? Um, come on now. Where is it? I, why, I offered him my own contract. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Really interesting. Okay, so... Whatever, fine. I'll, I'll match the offer still. And then I can extend them right now, right? Or no, maybe I can't. That kind of sucks, because you... Why can't you get their own contract during an offer sheet? That's a bit weird. I don't know if that's... You're not allowed to do that whatsoever, but it feels like you should be able to. So I matched the offer at least. Ugh. Oh, he does have an... But he says a pending offer now. So what the hell? I'm not I'm not too sure what the hell's going on, but let, let's... I'm going to try to figure that out. If that is that offer ever going to go through, or can I extend him at some point? Now he accepted the offer. Wait, no, no, that was just me taking that. What the fuck is happening? We lost the first game in OT. I'm trying to figure the hell out what the if I can extend him or something like that. Ugh, very interesting. He's in the system, is he? Yeah, he's in the system. Okay, let's actually... No, not trade... For... God damn. I can't extend him right now, I take it. Uh, I, if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have made the moves I did, but whatever. It'll still help us out cap-wise. Very silly. We lost that first game, mostly because I don't have this guy up here. What the hell is happening, man? That's so weird. 
All right, bring him up. All right, let's put him in there. Very interesting. I, I assumed that if you can offer a better contract to someone, but I guess you can't because, yeah, of the offer sheet thing. But whatever, we're going to try this guy out. At some point, I'll keep trying to offer him an extension. Now, we obviously might not be able to get the same kind of great deal, but I'm still going to try. If it's if it's around the same as what Hamus's was for a longer term or whatever, it's still worth it. So, whatever. I still like this guy better than Hamus. I still think he'll bring a lot to the table. First things first, though, check his fighting if it's at rarely or whatever. I'll bump it up to sometimes. I want this guy to fight because he's, you know, he brings that physical aspect to him. And we, we lost that in Hamus, but this guy, I think, could bring the same amount to the table here. So that's what we're going to look for. Let's see. Does he fight and how often? Come on. Alrighty. Yeah, it's bump bump to sometimes. Let's make him a bit of a fighter here. He needs to stand up for his teammates. I think this guy's like 6'5", too, so... Yeah. That's a very low price, man. If it was, I thought it was, like... I thought it was going to be like the Brzgalov situation from last year when he was going to get, like, offered 7 or 8 within the free agency period. He waited. I tried to wait a little bit to get our guys scouted. And then, well, that happened. I was trying to see if Hamis would jump back up or what his production would be like, but... All right, after a while, I'll try to see after the after we end here if I can offer him an extension. Same with Heesher. I want to try to lock those two guys in. Um, so, same thing. We're going to kind of actually just sim up to here. Try to get our guys fully scouted and stuff like that and see what our team's looking like, especially in the defensive end of things. I don't think we'll have too much uncovered with draft class yet. Besides some of the top guys. Yeah, nothing. Don't think we have too much. Yep, nothing. All right, keep it going. All right, Seattle, time to win some games. Time to win some games here. Wow, what is the sim? Oh, it's 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 not even it's not even simming with it. Like what the hell? So let's stop here because it's kind of screwing up. There we go. It's it wasn't. I was like, wait, why is this taking so long? Well, because it wasn't showing us anything. That was a big win, then a loss, but then we came back with a shutout. So we're looking pretty good here. Two one and one. Rangers are a decent team. We lose to them as well. Okay, defense, step up. Time to step it up. Come on, guys. Colborn's loving his performance. That's two big wins right there. So Colborn could be a really uh, ace in the hole for us right here. Come on, beat San Jose. Can't tell if we won or not. Is he going to switch? Yes, we won. Good. So 5-2-1 and one here. Good start to the season. Our Burnaby, for some reason, is doing pretty bad. Holy shit. Third line is uh, wrecking face, so to speak. Probably taking away points from everywhere else. Yeah, Henrik with nine points. Well, not really. They've still got good production. Colborn with eight points. I think that is good. Bermanis was seven. Boyle was seven. Karpovsev was six. Drops off pretty quick after that. And Manning, three points and eight games played. Not amazing. But power play is looking good early on third line is looking insanely strong early on i mean wilcox is leading in points like that's an incredible amount of points and we got this guy on an entry level for three years that's why i held off on signing him i know a lot of people were telling me earlier you got to sign this guy well i held off because i wanted to abuse <laughs> and abuse we will be doing wow okay this is a great start so far eight points and seven games played for colborne Five minutes, so he fought. <laughs> I like it. Wilcox also fought. Love it. We got a greedy-ass third line right now who puts up points. This could be great for us. All right, defensively, I'm not going to go too far in, in depth, but all the pairings are looking good. 84 overall is Stoll, so that's good. Pino still 84. Paris is also 84, so he's on the... Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's sorry. Wrong guy. Kubis, 85. Uh, not as big of a jump as I wanted, but that's okay. He's still only 21, so he should still keep getting up there. But Paris is on in the top six right now. Now, he's not complaining about ice time yet, but I will keep an eye on that. He does have PK time. I don't know how long that'll keep him uh, happy for, though. All right, and... I'm trying. 
He's an 87 now, man, and he's still not doing good. And Ward's a 90. <laughs> awesome. A 90 and an 87 goaltender. 87 is doing horrible. Now, it might be because he needs to spread his wings on his own and fly, but I will hold on to him for a bit. See if they, they should split some time relatively evenly. We have him to a really good contract, though, so any team's going to want to pick that up. We're not going to be able to afford him next year. So, at this point, we're going to decide who gets the starting role. And to me, right now, Ward is the guy. I don't care if the other guy's franchise. Like, Ward is the one performing, and he's been the one performing. You got the con Smythe. He's... He didn't have the greatest playoffs last year, but neither did our team. Like, I mean, he had a consistent playoff with how his regular season performance was. Our team didn't score. So, I'm less less inclined to blame him. Yeah, he had some ups and downs, sure. Please beat Ottawa. <laughs> don't lose to that team. Please don't do that. Yay, okay, good. There we go. Burnaby Aces are not doing too well. Hopefully they can bring it back, though. I'm not really concerned about my AHL, though. I have a lot of uh, shitty defensemen, and our goaltender situation is pretty bad, too. There we go. There's a couple wins. 9-4-1. and one. We're still kind of adjusting here. I'm going to keep checking on those goalie stats and see how they're splitting games, too, but I can't really give Lynch extra starts if he's playing like that. There we go. 10-5-1. and one. Not bad. I think we could do better, though. Uh, Jeff Boyle, that's unfortunate. That's our AHL, November 22nd. That's not too long. He'll be out for, though. Sunkfist, damn it. Listed as top six. Really not that good, though, so I'm not even going to use him. All right, who jumps in here? This guy, I guess. Who knows? <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. That was not as good as I thought it would be. That's probably why. Okay. <laughs> I signed this guy because he was 20 years old and elite, and I needed some guys under contract. I only had four defensemen here under contract playing for me. I'll keep playing him there, but <laughs> not amazing. This guy's a bit better, but still. Nothing great there. It's probably part of the reason that we're doing so bad. Oops, let's stick with the uh, NHL. So that's the starter guy. 23-73. I don't think this guy's still going to get up to backup. He's not doing too good. Neither is that guy. So I'm going to put in the other dude here, which is Haley. See if you can do better. Our team's doing crap anyway, so my, we might as well put in the guy who's only 20, who's still similar to the other guys overall. Try to develop him into a backup instead. That's what I'm doing with those goaltenders down there. Those guys will start a potential. The guy is 23 at only 73. Not a good chance of him becoming a solid. <laughs> Shit. I didn't want that to happen. That's why I was trying to resign him immediately. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get him to any... Uh... Solid a uh, extensions now. That's why I was trying to extend him so bad, man. Son of a bitch. I got outplayed by the computer, though. Got outplayed. Jeff Boyle's fully healed. Still worth it, though. Even as for even as for a year. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> a guy like that is well worth it. Sucks about hammies. I know. I know. And I know people are going to get... I'm going to get some hate for this. I am going to get some hate for this. But you got to make moves sometimes that people might not like. But I think for our team, it will help us. We're struggling, though. And I think it has to do with uh, Lynch. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. There's a nice win. All right. We need to win this game. Damn, man. 13, 8, and 1. Not a great month right there. A lot of goals against. And again, I think it has a lot to do with Lynch. Let's see what's happening here. I could be wrong, but I think it has a lot to do with him. All right, goals 4 per game, 3.64 goals against 2.5. So, so it's a great ratio, but the games, it just, we're not winning. That's part of an issue. 28.6% on the power play. What the fuck? Seriously? That makes no sense, dude. It doesn't make any sense. The guys on our penalty kill are outstanding. Ugh, not so good on home ice. Great on the road. Okay, I got to take a look at that. That's kind of ridiculous. I was not expecting that at all, but it happens. All right, so Karpov's up 24 points. Bermanis with 25. Peyton Manning with 15 and 22. You know, it's not too bad, actually. He's actually doing well. Boyle with only 17, Henrik with only 21, Heesha with 23, Colborn with 23. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That third line is incredible. 
Car pops. Okay, everything's kind of working right now. Could always try Colborn up on that. He's listed as a first liner. I got him freaking playing third line plus power play. I should probably move him up to the second and kick back Bermanis a bit, but it's so hard to do because we have such a good team right now. Wow. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Now, what's going on defensively? Why do we not have... What, what is up with this guy? Huh. I was hoping for a lot more production out of him, man. Really am. I mean, he is still young. I am still going to be patient with him. I'm not going to just trade him away because he's not producing. Our team overall is doing great. Okay, this guy's starting to lose morale because of ice time then. Well, I can switch up the penalty kill. I can try him on the freaking top unit. Okay, now Ward's doing shit and Lynch is doing better. What the hell? Ward was letting us down. Lynch was stepping up. Rough start. So I guess I could switch to manual rotations and go with the one who's doing good. Basically. That's kind of what I have to do at this point. Because that's a big drop from Ward right there. Again, it's just a one inconsistent stretch, but it's it's a big one. So we can try to see if it'll fix itself. But we might have to switch to manual rotations here, and you guys can let me know about that. Anyway, we got we got two guys who may be making runs for Calders here. Alright, so first things first. Before we end here, I'm going to check out extensions that I could make. We might actually be able to afford sort of everyone here. I don't think you guys will hate me too much when you see that production. Alright, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say here. Now how much is this guy... I can't, I still can't extend him. I still can't extend him either. How long do I have to wait? Do I have to wait to the deadline? Probably that because of the CBA. I think I'll have to wait to the deadline. I think so. But I'll try to extend him there, especially... Fucking hell, this Colborn guy. I am wish I didn't sign Bermanis for so much, but there's no way to get him less than that. He's a, That's a damn second line contract. We also got to take a look at that penalty kill. All right, let's take a look at the penalty kill first off, because it's not good. I can, I'll can i probably give Colborn ice time there, too. Let's just stack that freaking penalty kill. Just put the best guys ever on it. All right, let's get... Wait, who's complaining about ice time? This guy, right? Yes. Let's just get him on the top. Both those guys are right. He's not ideal, but whatever. Colborn, put him in there with Appleton. Appleton is an 83, so yeah, that makes a bit more sense. It's a bit of a goal scorer, though, so I, I still like him. Yeah, oh, his defense fell a little more than I would have liked, but it's still pretty good. It's still decent, He's and he's also a plus nine, so they seem to be working together. Keep Wilcox in there, too. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the issue is. Maybe off the penalty, uh, maybe him off the penalty kill though, and try out Sim. Try Sim back on there. Better defensive stats. He's always been a penalty killer. Maybe he will be better. I'll try that. We just got to mix it up. We'll go Sim and Colborn with uh, Paris and Malmstrom, Heischer, Wilcox, Pino, Kubis. But I think we might have just too good of a penalty kill, which they do sometimes to you, which is silly. But hey, we'll go back to our old. Uh, we'll go back to Sim being on there. Because it's seeming like our third line is more of a scoring line. <laughs> in so many ways. I can honestly move this guy up to the... T oh my god, 99 awareness. This guy's so good. He's just not a strong skater. That's the only thing he's lacking. But it doesn't seem to really affect his sim now, does it? 23 points and 21 games played on the third line with power play time. How many power play points does he have? I don't even... No, it's, it's four. One, one goal, four assists. I mean, that's decent, but... It's not anything crazy. He's on pace for about 16 points in the power play this year. That was crazy, dude. <laughs> Our team is ridiculous. Does he have good face-offs by chance? No. Damn. It's like, I'll turn this guy into my second line center. None of these guys have good face-offs. Rip. But everyone's producing so well. We have such a filthy stacked team. We got offense from every single corner. Now the question is, should I move up Colborn and send down Bermanis? Try to make the most out of this guy. Or should I keep things the way they are? Just get Colborn on that top uh, PK unit. He's got some uh, power play time back there. Four points on the power play so far. 
Our power play is clicking. Penalty kill is not. Hopefully we can get that fixed, but everything is going well right now. I don't want to touch the power play. I don't necessarily even want to touch the offense because everything is killing it right now besides goaltending. So I think what we're going to do here is turn off rotations and kind of switch in between these two guys, see who does better. I, I'm still more favored towards Ward, mainly because of what he's done for the team in total. But we'll switch them off relatively evenly this year. See what they do. And uh, I'll have to help uh, get your guys' help as well. But we're going to still try to maybe get Colborn back. I think we could be able to do that. If we're able to sign Heischer for lower, if we can get Colborn back for maybe a sort of team-friendly deal. But now at 89, I don't think he'll want any sort of team-friendly deal. I'm really, I'm really kind of bummed that when he had an offer sheet pending, he couldn't accept a contract from me. Now, even though it was a better contract, like more money, more term. I'm not too sure why. Maybe that's part of the CBA as well, and I just am not too sure about it, or maybe it's just a thing in the game. Either way, Hamish is gone. I might get some hate for that, but our offense is clicking. Three lines scoring like never before. So that's a good thing. We got to just tighten up defensively and in front of our goaltenders too. So we'll try to uh, try to fix that, fix the penalty kill, and maybe just try to get the season back on track. So all right, guys, that'll do it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Remember, to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you. Be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.